Hey, everybody. Welcome to the second to last week. Ah! We made it through Thanksgiving. We're back and we're finishing up your inquiry projects. I've already had some great conversations with some of you who stopped by my office hours and we're just pulling it together. So in this week's video, I just want to talk through some of the logistics for finalizing this project. Um, you've gotten your field notes in, you're drafting your final papers. This week, I have a peer review available to you, which I'll talk about in a minute. And then next week, along with your final paper, a brief reflection, I'd like us to do a quick presentation of our materials, but we need to decide how we want to do that. So I'm going to talk about that in this video too. Let's get to it. All right, so here we are in our Canvas site. I'm scrolling down, scrolling down. You guys look at all that we have accomplished. So many weeks worth of work. Here we are in week 14, the second to last one. I am going to click on the week 14 schedule so that you can see just how very little we have planned this week. Uh, but we want to be drafting. You should be drafting. You should be writing. I hate those memes and they're all true. Uh, but you should be writing up your paper. And if you need to, you can always email me with questions. Um, I'll be available for a little bit longer in office hours. Um, but I do need to grade some research papers from one of my other classes. So I will not be taking Zoom appointments for the rest of the week. Just FYI. But I'm happy to answer emails for sure. In terms of what we're doing this week, watch this weekly instructor video so that you can hear me blather on. Read your classmates' drafts. Be drafting. Be writing your peer review comments. Um, that's basically all we have this week. But let me show you some key things. So you might notice that the inquiry project peer review is worth zero points. That's on purpose. Because what I am doing here is creating an opportunity for extra credit. So if you're hankering for a few extra points that weren't even in the mix, this is your chance. Also, if you just want to benefit from the beauty of peer review, this is also your chance. So make sure that when you're doing this peer review, you are posting your full draft. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just, just a full draft. Name it, give and receive feedback. What I'd like you to do is at least give feedback to two classmates. That presupposes that at least two of you, or at least three of you, will be posting your papers here. But if there's enough people, and there should be, because peer review is awesome and it is very helpful, give feedback to at least two classmates. Give attention to all of the orders of concern. So that's higher order concerns, big picture things, the argument, the focus middle order concerns, paragraph order concerns, things that help the reader transition between ideas, lower order concerns, issues of grammar and spelling. So address all levels of concern and then pose at least one question to your classmate to help them in their revision process. So that's our peer review that we've got going this week. That is the only thing. The next slide is week 15. But let me tell you something about week 15. We do have your final project due and the inquiry project presentation, which as you saw last week, I had put the wrong date in, whatever. We're all doing just the best we can. Um, but here's the thing. This presentation is usually done in an in-class face-to-face format, which we will not be doing. I have two options for how we can pull off this presentation. And what I need from you guys, if we were in a class face to face, I would just say, what do you guys want to do this or this? And then you guys would tell me, <laughs> but we're not all in the same room. So here's what I need you to do. I am going to explain the two options and then I need everybody to vote in the course chat right over here. So 
here's the idea. We can either do really brief videos. So you would be talking through your inquiry project in an elevator pitch style where you observed the patterns you observed your theoretical frame you know the key takeaway done you know you could show any artifacts in this video everybody does individual videos and we'll post them like as a discussion thread so that we can see everybody's presentation so that's option one Perhaps the most independent, you know, like everybody can work asynchronously and we'll all come together asynchronously on the discussion thread. The other option is that we could try to swing a massive Zoom. Like I'll post a Zoom link, everybody comes together, does their elevator pitch like live and in real time. That would probably have to be sometime on Friday the 10th. So that would be like a little bit earlier than the like presentation is supposed to be due. Probably from 3 to 4.30, but I'm open to, you know, discussing different times. I know that the trick of this is that we're probably not any of us available all at the same time. But I wanted to give you guys some options. So we could do individual videos for your presentation or Try to swing a Zoom where we do our presentations live. Please vote on what you would like to have happen over here in the chat. Okay. I think that's all I had to talk to you guys about. I'm gonna swing back to our full view and close out this video. All right, so in the second to last week, I just wanna tell you guys, I continue to be so proud of this class. You guys are working diligently and thoughtfully on this inquiry project. I've had some great conversations with all of you throughout the process of putting this project together. Good job. I see you. I'm proud of you. It's been a really tough semester for us all, but we're almost done. Yay. <laughs> So that's all I have for you. It, please email me if you have any questions. I just want to reiterate that um, I'll be available for another probably half an hour here till 2.30 on Zoom. And then I will only be available via email because I'm really trying to get some research papers graded for my English 1020 students. So I appreciate your patience there. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great week. Happy peer reviewing. And I will see you in next week's video, our very last one. Bye, everybody.